The Food and Drug Administration reveals a new plan today to cut down the use of antibiotics in food animals. The FDA calls overuse of antibiotics a threat to public health. It is a factor in creating drug-resistant superbugs blamed for killing 23,000 Americans every year. Dr. William Schaffner is the head of Vanderbilt University's Department of Preventive Medicine. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. So how is the FDA going to crack down? What are they going to do? Yeah, so the object is to reduce antibiotics that are used to augment growth in animals. And so what they're going to do is have the manufacturers voluntarily relabel those antibiotics so they can't be bought over the counter. They will require a veterinarian's specific prescription on specific indications, and they're going to voluntarily phase this in over the next three years. My impression is that Europeans have been concerned about this much longer than Americans. Yeah. Uh, and They've we're been, just getting around to this a bit late. That's exactly right. The Europeans have done this successfully 15 years ago. But in fact, doctor, isn't it what the Europeans have done, though, is they've actually banned the use of antibiotics in, only in the case of preventing disease. And some critics say that's why the FDA is not going far enough. Yeah, exactly. But we're in a compromised situation, and this is, I think, a first step. The system can be gamed if veterinarians permit the antibiotics to be used just to prevent infections. So we'll have to monitor what's going on. But this is voluntary, right? It is voluntary, but remember, 80% of the antibiotics used in this country go into food animals, 20% go into humans. We use too much in both places. We both have to be much more prudent in our use of antibiotics. Not just here, but in other ways. Are superbugs becoming a, a real concern for American health? Oh, you bet, Charlie. We infectious disease doctors are very concerned about that because progressively the bacteria that we want to treat in people because they are causing infections are becoming resistant and our antibiotic options are much more limited than they used to be. Right. So, so this is important. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Schaffner. Good Thank to see you. you.